Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through my uh, the continued build of my Super 7. Today we're going to be uh, mounting the, the brake pedal assembly with the accelerator and the accelerator pedal and the brake and the clutch and all that sort of thing and we have to do that to do some frame modifications to, to make all that work I think. So um, well, let's see what we get into. So here's the pedals kind of just clamped into place for now. The, of course the accelerator brake and clutch. Um, the um, obviously I have to make it work here. The, the, it's pretty tight going across here. They, you know, they've got a wall here, and of course the the, the tunnel is going to come here. So there's not going to be much space. There never is in these in these uh, cars. Um, so I got to figure it out. It, it, the, the main mounting holes are here and here. Uh. Right. So here's the pedals from the top. Um, I had put this this triangulating piece in here to, to, to stiffen up the frame but I don't think I need it and I think uh, because I'm going to have a, a welded in floor of a 1 uh, sheet metal um, which is pretty going to be pretty stiff and and it's going to be uh, plug welded all the way to the frame all the way around so that's going to give me the stiffness on the floor that I that I want so and I think this is just going to be a pain to have in the, in the foot well running across where, where the feet are here so I'm going to take that out because it's in the way from mounting the pedals. As you see here, the main uh, mounting points for the pedals are this set of bolt holes here and then another set sort of in the back here, if you can see those. Those ones are running right now right in the edge of this of this frame member here. So what I'm going to do is to take out, is to cut out this frame member here and then run another piece across that's centered on these holes here that I can get good bolts good going through them. Obviously I want this this thing to be just as stiff as I can make it. Uh, I want a rock hard pedal. So here's the pedal assembly. I threw it all together on the bench here. Um, you know, the, the, the firewall is here. And then the each of the two, um, there'd be two master cylinders, one for the front uh, brakes and one for the back brakes connected together through this uh, bias bar here that that's going to be a, um, adjustable and to be a clutch a clutch cylinder here um, these are really nice pedals they're, they're from uh, they're made by Willwood I got them from um, from Speedway Motors not a sponsor yet <laughs> and uh, um, they're, 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 it's just a really nice setup you can either set them uh, put the master cylinders here on top either a small one or um, or a bigger one or you can take and remount, uh, remote mount them with a with a adapter like that, and then an adapter on the on the reservoir, so you can mount this up high or somewhere and run a hose down to here if we don't have the space here to run the to to, to mount the cylinders here. So I think the smaller one's going to be big enough for me. I, I don't have a lot of uh, it's just a single calipers on the front and back or single cylinder calipers. So it should, should be fine, but uh, we'll see if I mount these remotely or mount them uh, di directly to the to the master cylinder. But th that's the way that this is, this is going to work. Two uh, two rails here underneath this to mount this to, and then I might try and put a, an extra brace here to the frame for the brake pedal just to get a really nice uh, solid brake pedal. So those are uh, those are cut out there um, and that's why I uh, everything's just tacked together right now it makes it so easy to uh, to change stuff again um, and invariably on these builds when you're not sure what you're gonna run to run into or, or I don't anyway um, you never know what you're gonna have to change so it's just tacked together right now everything that's easy to is easy to make changes so so I'm gonna put two uh, two pieces in across there um, and I'll fit them to the um, to the pedals uh, with all the holes drilled and everything and then once they're all together then I'll then I'll, I'll tack those in as well so there's those those two pieces I need to bolt the uh, to bolt the pedals in um, I, I just cut them with my angle grinder and stuff I, I didn't bother showing that I don't know if you uh, if you care 
Yeah, it'll, it'll just throw something in the comments if you uh, if you wouldn't mind seeing that too at uh, even at a at a sped up pace. Um, but they're sitting on two pieces of pieces of flat stock that I that I just clamped in, and that allows me just to mount everything uh, uh, just the way it's supposed to be and uh, mark the holes for the pedals. I always like to do that in place rather than measuring it because you uh, measuring always you get you know a, a certain amount of error so. Um, so I'd like to do it with actually sitting in place and then mark the holes, uh, mark the holes actually where they go. So there's the pedals mounted on those uh, two fr new frame rails up there. I um, I used uh, thicker wall tubing. I used um, about uh, 110 wall instead of 60 thou wall on this stuff. Um, again, just to get really get some uh, you know strength and rigidity in there. Now I'm going to build the, the build a piece of the firewall that that sits in here that these things will will mount to, uh, and then the master cylinders will mount uh, will mount on mount on there. Here's the way the uh, the throttle pedal uh, works. I've got the, the the brake bent out of the way here. Um, just the the uh, the the, you know, the it'll sit sort of like that. With this link here and a bell crank there, so the the throttle will will be attached. The throttle cable will cable will be attached to here. So as you see, that goes um, that goes up and down as the um, as the pedal moves. I may have to I may have to extend that out farther because it's just sitting right at the same level as the firewall. Um, anyway, we'll we'll see how that comes through, but. Uh, that's sort of what that what that linkage looks like. Okay, there's the uh, the firewall piece fabricated up there. Here's the um, the uh, throttle cable where that where that the throttle linkage comes through. Here's the two master cylinders, one for the say the rear and the one for the front. Either way, and here's the clutch uh, the, the the clutch master cylinder. I want to show you this. This is kind of cool. The way they the 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 two master cylinders for the brake one for the rear uh one for the rear one for the for the front um, they're connected with a bias bar across here the, at the bottom of the pedal um and you can you can adjust 
you, we're going to be able to adjust as to the how much bias you put on the front or the back by moving this back and forth. On the uh, dash, there's going to be this knob, and it's going to it's connected by a cable to uh, through here to adjust this, and you can screw this in and out, and and so therefore change which uh, which which uh, master cylinder the uh, the front or the rear gets more of the uh, more of the pedal effort. Um, that's the that's the, the the I mean it's done in 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 race cars or actually I guess in race cars is probably all computerized now too, but. This is the classic way it was done in race cars. Now, of course, in most cars with uh, with ABS brakes and everything, that, that that's all taken away from the driver. But uh, I wanted to build that into this uh, into this build, so um, so I decided to do it that way. Now I'll mount it in the car, and I'll show you uh, how that goes. All right, those are uh, tacked in there now. Those beams, two beams on the bottom, and the uh, firewall plate there. You can see there's a there's a ton of adjustment that still has to be done they're not bolted in place yet really but you can see there's a some of the uh, space constraints I've got here with that uh, exhaust there coming down and it's gonna have to come out the side here and these uh, master cylinders so what I could do is to do that with the master cylinder and put it up high it gets them out of the way a little bit and run a hose there from the uh, that's the way Will Woods uh, has has an option there to to do that. Um, so that that's something I'll uh, I'll think about if I want to do. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, yeah, drop a comment down there if you think you like it or don't, or advantages or disadvantages. I uh, understand there's an advantage there that the uh, the calipers will tend not to bleed back um, if I uh, if I mount them up higher like that. Uh, which is an advantage otherwise I got to put a 2 psi uh, pressure uh, pressure retention uh, valve in there in the line anyway that's what I've got uh, that's how the brakes are gonna look I think it looks all right all right folks that's what I have for you for today um, next week we'll be looking at uh, like how do you size your your master cylinders the the, the rate ratio between the front and the back sizing brake biasing, um, uh, caliper piston size, all that sort of stuff. So um, I think that'll be, that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, in the meantime, please uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Uh, um, yeah, I'd appreciate that and, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.